Thank you for your interest in applying to igotochina.org. This is an informational video to help you go through our online application form. Before you begin, make sure you have your CV or resume prepared for upload, as well as any letters of recommendation or any supplementary documents such as transcripts or photos that you think will be helpful for the application process. To begin, please enter your name as it appears on your passport. It is important that it matches your passport because we will be using this name to apply for your visa. Next, please enter your age. You need to be 18 years old at least by the time that you enter China. If you're under 18 years old, we'll need a letter from your parents and you can upload that at the end of the application process. Next, please enter your email. It is important that you check frequently because we'll be using it as the primary means throughout the application process. If you have a second email address, you can enter that as well, and we will use uh, that will give us another means to contact you if we have any problems with your first email address. Next, please enter your current address. This will be an address to which we will send any documents and placement confirmation and your visa application. So it's important that this is an address that you have frequent access to and check regularly. Next, we will need your phone number. Please be sure to enter uh, country code and area code so that we will be able to get a hold of you. Next, please enter your emergency contact. This could be a friend or family member or a best friend uh, that will know how to reach you in case we have any trouble getting a hold of you. Next, we'd like to know if you have spoken with any of our ambassadors. If so, please select the appropriate answer from the drop-down menu. If you have spoken to one of our ambassadors, on the next question, please select which ambassador you have been in contact with. Next, please select the program for which you are applying for. Part-time English, full-time English, an internship program, or a project. Please note that all applicants will automatically be enrolled in the Chinese Culture Immersion Program and the Chinese Language classes. It's not mandatory to attend, but we strongly recommend it. Next, for how long do you plan to be in China? For three months, six months, or 12 months? Or you don't need to select a duration now, you can discuss it in the interview. But please note, if you select three months, you will be required to pay for your plane transportation to and from China. For the programs longer than three months, we will help with transportation. Next, please tell us when you plan to arrive in China. Again, it's not necessary to declare that at this time. You can also discuss it in your interview. Next, please select which Chinese city in which you would like to be placed. We will do our best to match your preference with an appropriate opportunity. If you do not have a preference at which city, you can also select I do not have a preference. Please note that Shanghai is not available for placement until 2014. Next, we'd like to know if you're planning to apply with partners or friends or family members. We do encourage you to apply with someone you know to help with any sort of culture shock that you may experience when you arrive in China. If yes, please enter their names in the next field. Next, we'd like to know about your level of English proficiency. Please select the best description from our drop-down menu. It is not a requirement to speak English for the program, but if you plan to do a part-time or full-time English speaking position, we do ask that you have strong English speaking skills. Again, you don't need a certificate, but proof of English proficiency will be great in an interview. Next, please let us know if you have any criminal record. This is a requirement by the Immigration Office in China. If you select yes from the drop-down menu, please describe your criminal record in the next field. Next, please let us know if you have any teaching or volunteering experience. Again, this is not a requirement for the application, but it will help us place you in an appropriate position. Next, please let us know the longest period that you have stayed outside your home country. Again, it's not a requirement that you've spent significant time abroad, but it will be helpful for us to place you in a position in China. Next, please let us know if you've been to China before, and if so, for how long. Finally, please let us know if you have any knowledge of the Chinese language, and if so, which level are you at? Next, we ask that you upload the appropriate documents to support your application. You will know the document has been uploaded when you roll over the upload button with your mouse. You will see the title of the document, cv.docx. You can see if it has not uploaded, 
if no file chosen appears when you roll over the upload button. Again, if there are any other documents that you would like to upload to support your application, such as photos, transcripts, or other recommendation letters, or if you're under the age of 18, a letter from your parent, please upload that here. Finally, if there's any additional information you would like to share with us, such as a special request or a question that you would like us to respond to, please enter that in the final application form. Finally, you must agree to the terms and conditions to igotochina.org. Please be sure you actually read the terms and conditions and you can open those in a new tab. Once you have read the terms and conditions, you can go back to the online application and submit your application. Depending on your internet connection speed, it may take a little bit of time to submit your application, but once the application is successfully submitted, you will receive this message. Please check your email inbox to see if you've received an email from igotochina.org. If you do not see it in your inbox, please check your spam folder and see if something appeared in your spam folder. If so, please select that email and mark it as not spam so that it will return to your inbox and I go to China won't have any trouble contacting you through the email address that you provided. Thank you for applying to igotochina.org. If you have any additional questions about the program or application form, please feel free to send us an email at info at igotochina.org. Thank you.